So in today's video, what we want to look at is how to derive the integrating factor that is used when solving first order linear differential equations. We're going to constrain our considerations today to linear homogeneous first order differential equations because that will then be used in a similar way to what the variation of parameters approach in higher order differential equations is to treat the inhomogeneous case. And that will be considered in a subsequent video. So let's consider the first order linear homogeneous differential equation dy on dx plus p of x times y is equal to zero. This p of x is, let's say, a smooth function, and we have nothing to worry about there. Smooth and bounded. So the equation is separable. So what we can do is we can multiply every term by dx, in which case we see that dy plus p of xy times dx is zero. If we then divide by y, we get dy on y plus p of x dx equals zero. Now by just taking the p of x dx over to the other side, we see that dy on y is equal to minus p of x dx. Integrating both sides, we have the following. And so the left hand side is just ln of mod y plus c. And that's of course just equal to minus the integral of p of x dx. We then exponentiate both sides. We have some constant a times the exponential of minus the integral of p of x dx. But because of the form that the differential equation is in, namely that dy on dx plus p of xy equals zero, the constant a will play no role when multiplying through. And as a consequence, we can just take y to be the exponential of minus the integral of p of x dx. And that's where the integrating factor comes from.